the amazing paintbrush change. Hey YouTubers and all young magicians out there, it is I, a stunning magic. And in today's episode, I am going to teach you how to do the amazing paintbrush color change. Um, I've only just learned it, so I'm not the absolute best at it yet. Um, but I just think it is an amazing effect. It's really easy to um, perform. And, um, yep, I'm going to show you the performance and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so, I'm going to be using my normal bicycle, playing cards over here. So, yeah, let's get right into it. See you then. Okay, guys, what I'm going to have you do is pick a card. Now, since you're not here, I am going to just do this easier for you. So, let's just say anybody can call out stop. Let's give it to the beat of five. So, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So, actually, no, three. Okay. One, two, three. Stop. So, let's show they stop you there. All right. Now, what I want you to do, well, this is called the paintbrush change, color change. Um, basically, I'm gonna soon. I'm gonna take off this top pile, and you're going to look at this top card. Before I do that, I'm just gonna walk you through what's gonna happen. You're gonna get your card. Um, I'm gonna put some in the middle of the deck, and then we are going to magically rise up your card to the top of the deck, and then we're going to swipe it on top of the deck and it's going to change into a different card after that we're going to see your card somewhere else in the deck all right let's start so i'm not gonna look uh, i want you to look at this card got it good all right i'm gonna place your card to the side right over here okay so I love that. Alright, now what we're going to do now is just place your card somewhere in the middle of the deck. Right. So it's on somewhere in the middle of the deck. We are going to just snap at the fingers and show you that your card has ma magically arise to the top of the deck. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the paper change. See your card? gone. Let's change into the ace of hearts. Now, put the ace of hearts here. Shuffle up the pack. New card has now gone. I've shuffled up the deck. I'm going to have a little snap of the fingers and your card magically arises to the bottom. Alright, now, that is basically it, now onto the tutorial. Now, a couple of you may have caught on the fact that you need duplicate cards. Any two dupli duplicate cards you are going to force on the spectator. In this case, I used the two eights of diamonds. Yep, so you're going to need two decks. Um, just make sure when you're showing the deck that you go past one or the other. Um, but, but hold on. What you're going to do with these two eights is you're going to place one eight on the top or whatever card you're using and the other eight in my case on the bottom. You're all set up. Okay? That's all the setup you're gonna need. When you're showing cards, you can flash this top card. You know, it's better to flash it's better to show the bottom. Um just thumb over um a couple of cards there so I don't see anything. So yeah. Alright. Um you can also give it a little bit of a fan. Um, they may see that though, a little bit, um, but yeah. 
do whatever you want to do to present the cards. You don't maybe even need to um, present the cards in this case. Um, but once you've done that, you want to um, say to the audience, tell me when to stop. I just did the one, two, three method because you're on here. So riffle down, say stop right there. Place, this is called the split, the cross cut um, is a force. Place the top half on the table, the bottom half on the top. Release this pile, show them their card, and look away. But you know it's the eighth of diamonds anyway. You want to place that card on the table. You don't want to place it back on the pile. Then what you want to do is you just want to put the pile back on. So the top pile, that the eight, and then the pile, the eight on the bottom. Obviously you don't want to look, but it will be the one on your alternate, um, will be on the other side of your hand you use to write and whatever, okay? Um, so what you then want to do is you want to say, you may also caught on to this, I don't think that much though, but you just want to make a little break, a pinky break, just underneath that first card see how I've got a little pinky break there you want to just slide that card in I can't remember the um, angle we use but it looks like you're pushing the card in the middle of the deck then what you want to do is you want to do a double um, double lift you just want to show the card magically arise at the top you can do whatever Gesture you want, gesture you want, snap, anything. Um, be creative with that. Well, be creative with that. Just don't make sure. Don't flash your card like I just did. Then what you want to do is you may just want to rest it while you come and hold these cards just like this. So you, um, maybe your thumb goes on, covers one, the closest suit, little pip for you. Just like that. And the other two fingers goes maybe see this little spade over here kind of here they probably need to go over that but basically then what you want to do is you just want to flap flap then on the second time you want to push this card up a little bit and that and you show that the card has gone again what we're going to do is um going to flap flap push the card up a little bit flap and it changes work on that and you'll be fine then basically what you want to do is you want to do a false before or maybe even a false cut to be honest I think that would be the best situation. Well, that's such a fail. I know, false cut. Um, but basically, just maybe a any type of false cut you have. That's not really a trying to be false cut. I'm trying to work on that myself. Um, any type of false cut you want to do. You can even do the, um, or you grip onto the top card and the bottom card really tight. And you just take a couple of cards from the middle. Do that. Or you could just do that before. Or you just put cover the eight down first. And then with the top cards. And then, yep, shuffle them up like that. Um, just to keep the card on the bottom there. Snap of the fingers, wave, whatever gesture you want to do. So magically arised on the bottom. So yeah, that is um basically it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. So thank you guys again very much for watching. I hope this trick works out for you. It does take a little bit of getting used to, of course, doing that um, double lift of the card. 
and then doing that paintbrush color change. Yeah. Oh, that was a fail. I'm holding it up so it seems a bit more harder. Um, um, so yeah, I have a work to do though. As I said, I'm trying to work it on myself. Work on it myself. Um, but yeah, I hope it worked out for you. I hope it's going to be a good trick. I hope you're going to get great reactions from it. My hair is magically sticking out. I really need a haircut. But um, yes, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. If you're stuck on any little bit, please put down in the comment section below. And I will help you out personally through um, YouTube chat, whatever you call it. Um, step by step of how to do that little bit you're stuck on. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Stanley Magic out.